you got to be able to hold your own crown before you try to be crowned in many of these traditions. And this is really why we have to respect the order of things when you're going into an African traditional religion that says you have to know self and meet self and your ancestors first before you go to the primordials, right? And this makes sense because again, if you can't even hold your own energy, if you can't sit with yourself, if you can't face yourself, right? Then and, and or your lineage, how then can you show up to face and hold the energy of the ancients, of those who come before even the idea of human who are the embodiment of nature, right? It's a relationship. So in order to have a relationship to nature, which in my tradition we call Orisha, right? You gotta have a relationship with yourself, which means a relationship with your body because your body is the vessel holding that spirit and the vessel that is holding that spirit is elemental connecting you to the world around you. So this is why we say you gotta know yourself first, you gotta face yourself, Ori, come down, bring that spirit that's been disassociated in these capitalistic systems of extraction and dehumanization over centuries time. When you bring that spirit up here back into the body and you start to feel, right? That's a process of getting to know self, to face self, of releasing in faith. See, all of these things of surrender and faith, these terms that are been used and quite frankly co-opted and PR'd through the kind of more dominant religions that have then used it to dominate populations are really rooted in various, various indigenous practices to get us to understand the weight, but also the beauty of truly surrendering into the cycle and relationship we also have with life. But in these Christian traditions that are built through and upon the colonial project, that life gets reordered into a rigid hierarchy via a binary that is dominant in nature. So when you bring that spirit back in, you're releasing that, but you gotta be able to face yourself. So when you're going into a, and somebody's ele, right? Be very weary of priests who wanna crown you quickly who after you've not even had a chance to breathe and understand the foundations of this new type of understanding of a relationship to spirit, therefore land and living in life, when they want to jump those steps, that is how the spirit of that Christian white patriarch still maintains itself because that is the spirit of the colonial who is not loyal and does not care who it infests. It just wants to maintain its presence through domination in one way, shape, or form. So when you jump knowing yourself and knowing your lineage and having to face yourself in your lineage in order to put another spirit on top of your head, all you're doing is reproducing the same disassociation you were used to in those other institutions. So basing yourself is vital in order to truly figure out what it means to be free.